What's up, y'all? Good morning. Good morning. I am sitting right now in uh, front of my job about to share the word of God with you before I walk up into this place. Um, always good time to take some time out to share with the Lord in the morning, commune with the Lord in the morning before you go and do anything. So, you know, I had my little personal time, but um, I wanted to hop on here real quick and share a word with you that God had given me. Um, it is Proverbs 4, verse 2 through 9. Um, and it's talking about a father's wise advice. That's what the title above the chapter says. And I'll be reading from the NLT version. And so um, and it's Proverbs 4, verse 2 through 9. It says, for I am giving you good guidance. Don't turn away from my instructions. For I too was once my father's son, tenderly loved as my mother's only child. My father taught me, take my words to heart, follow my commands and you will live. Get wisdom, develop good judgment. Don't forget my words or turn away from them. Don't turn your back on wisdom for she will protect you. Love her and she will guard you. Getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. And whatever else you do, develop good judgment. If you prize wisdom, she will make you great. Embrace her and she will honor you. She will place a lovely wreath on your head and she will present you with a beautiful crown. And God had led me to this word last night. And um, I was like, out of all, everything, out of everything of, of reading God's lovely and beautiful words, the word that stood out to me the most was get. And I was like, getting. That denotes like, I have something to go get. That means like, I have something that is waiting for me to take possession of it. So I was like, okay, let me go take it a little bit further. And so I went and you know, Googled the definition of get. And it says to receive, to have, to hold. Um, it also denotes that it could be purchased. And I was like, wow, that's, that's really profound because um, I had went to enduringword.com for a deeper study of this scripture and um, it also said purchased and as it went into went into it further it was basically saying you have to purchase it but it is with a price and I'm like that's true because when you're in the process of getting wisdom and getting understanding you have to give up some things you have to let go of your old way of thinking you have to let go of your old beliefs you have to let go of your old systems and when i say systems your old way of attacking something or if say like you're in a situation and you have to do something like okay what i normally would do is just ignore this no when God says to get wisdom and get understanding about that same situation. He may have you do something different. He may have you pray for the person that may have hurt you. He may have you um, go and talk to them. He may have you, whatever he has you to do, it's going to be a set of instructions that he wants you to do for his will and his purpose specifically for you. And so I was like, wow God like even for myself I'm in that now like getting wisdom and getting understanding does come with a price I have lost friends I have uh, uh, gained enemies <laughs> but it's okay because that's that's the process that's the process so um, another thing that God had me write down about this is which I think is so important and I didn't even think about it it depends on how you receive that wisdom and that understanding and basically what Holy Spirit was telling me is that 
you don't want to receive this word on a hard heart. You don't want to receive it where you can't actually receive it. There's a difference between hearing something and then listening. Hearing is like, oh, I acknowledge it. But actually listening to it is like, oh, I acknowledge it. I understand it. I am going into a deeper depth of understanding it and having more revelation about it. And God really wants us when he has tells us, hey, get wisdom and get understanding. He really wants us to receive, hey, this is what I have for you. This is what you need to possess. This is in your land of promises. So go after it, go get it. And then another thing was um, instructions. Holy Spirit highlighted instructions. Um, it is connected to your obedience. When you obey, you will have instructions. And when you have instructions, you're able to escape. Whatever you're trying to escape from. And, or even, not even escaping all the time. Sometimes it's instructions to go into your promised land. But those instructions will need your obedience to God first in order to do anything, in order to do anything. Obedience over everything. Y'all hear me? Obedience over everything. That is like the thing that I've taken on because I, I've, I've said this time and time again. I am a Jonah, okay? And I will run from the Lord and I will try to hide from the Lord. I will try to go into the depths of the belly of the whale. Okay, y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? So I'll be like, Lord, I ain't trying to do that. Nope. And it's like, <laughs> no matter what you try to do, try to avoid it, God's will is still going to happen. God is God. Even if you are trying to run away or you don't believe in his will, it's still going to happen. So I will always find myself like, why am I running when it's going to happen anyway? <laughs> like, God is going to make it happen anyway. It's just going to be more difficult than it needed to be. So, yeah, obedience over everything, y'all. Everything. But just wanted to get on here, have a quick word with y'all. I hope and pray that this word blesses you. I pray to God that... Um, he just surrounds you with his love and your and favor and that you accept it, that you receive it. Trust me, this is a word for me too, because it's so hard for me to receive sometimes. Um, so I definitely look forward to doing more videos and I just, I just pray that it blesses you and that y'all have a highly blessed and favorable day. Plead the blood of Jesus over all of y'all that are watching. God bless y'all and love y'all and I will see y'all soon.